lead has its purpose in car batteries, ammunition, weights for lifting, and many other practices. But there's no safe level of lead in a person's blood. When lead shows up in drinking water, it's a big issue and can severely hurt the sustainability of clean water. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that 5,300 U.S. water systems are in violation of lead rules, providing contaminated water to customers and poisoning the 500,000 children that have elevated levels of lead in their blood. With that knowledge, why do problems like these persist within our water systems? Let's start with some background information. Lead poisoning can stem from high levels of lead in a person's system and when left untreated, results can be fatal. Symptoms of lead poisoning include developmental delays, abdominal pain, and neurologic changes. Children and pregnant women are especially vulnerable because lead can severely affect mental and physical development. Young children afflicted with lead poisoning suffer from constipation, seizures, and eating disorders, while pregnant women suffer from miscarriage, stillbirth, or premature birth. There shouldn't be any argument as to whether or not lead should come into contact with children and pregnant women, yet it still appears in drinking water. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the city where I live, is having a serious issue with lead in their water. The Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority reports that 17,750 of the 71,000 residential service connections that they own and use contain lead, tainting the drinking water. Because of this, in June of 2016, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection ordered the PWSA to build 1,341 lead service line replacements by June 30th of 2017. The PWSA absolutely failed. Only 415 replacements were made, but 225 of the 415 were partial. In other words, those replacements do not remove lead from the system and merely perpetuated the chances of pregnant women and children to suffer the harmful effects of lead poisoning. Through the intolerable acts made by the PWSA and others alike, lead can destroy water sustainability by hurting the growth of children and rendering the water supplied unusable. How can the actions taken by the PWSA and others alike be rectified? Madison, Wisconsin and Lansing, Michigan are two cities that have found a solution. In a project that took five years, Madison, Wisconsin went for broke and tore up every single lead pipe beneath them. It cost the city $20 million, but was highly successful. In June of 2017, Lansing, Michigan finished tearing up 14,500 pipes, a 10-year, $40 million project that saved the city from lead poisoning. These two cities show Pittsburgh and the other 5,300 contaminated water systems that taking action and tearing up every lead pipe one by one saves families from lead poisoning. If Pittsburgh decided to use this solution and indeed tear up their lead pipes, it would take approximately $71 million. That big number divided by the population of the city itself, 303,625, it would only take $233.84 per person to replace all of the lead pipes, a more reasonable price in the grand scheme of things. If that doesn't work, the PWSA should make a five-year plan of increased rates for customers, but have it so that the rate increase will drop back down after the five-year term. The government can also become involved by balancing infrastructure funding and authorizing programs to improve drinking water. In light of past mistakes, the PWSA has confirmed that they are ending the practice of making partial service line replacements and are starting to replace entire lines including privately owned. This will help any lower income households who would not be able to pay the steep price for replacing their pipes. Even with the current regulation, Pittsburgh and the state of Pennsylvania still have a long way to go in order to alleviate the lead contamination. The American Society of Civil Engineers and their infrastructure report card gave the state of Pennsylvania a D in drinking water. As stated in the report card, waiting will only lead to larger issues that will disrupt lives 
and cost even more when the bill comes due. The sustainability of clean water needs action and continued investment in order to fix. Lead affects the current population directly and also impedes growth for the future population. In order to maintain water sustainability and end lead poisoning, it takes a mutual relationship between the water supplier and the homeowner to make real substantial change.